If there is no pulse, then further breaths can achieve nothing. This is the most urgent situation you can come across, and the most challenging. Without a heartbeat, oxygen isn't circulating. Therefore, restoring a heartbeat is an immediate priority. The heart is the body's circulating pump. It can be found under the lower half of the breastbone in this position. By pressing down directly over the lower half of the breastbone, you can compress the heart to squeeze blood out of it. Place the casualty on a firm surface. Then place yourself in this position relative to the casualty and then locate the lower half of the breastbone like this. Put the heel of one hand on the lower half of the breastbone. Cover this hand with the other and lock your fingers. With your arms straight, move your body forwards and backwards using your weight to depress the lower half of the breastbone about one and a half inches in the case of most adults. Do this 15 times. Keep the correct pace by counting to yourself one and two and three and four and five and eight. Think of your own heartbeat. Reopen the airway by repositioning the head and giving two breaths. This is hard work but you must keep the rhythm and control the pressure. Too much can damage the heart or the underlying organs, such as the liver. Check the pulse after about four cycles, which is about a minute, and if necessary, three minutes. When you're successful, the missing pulse will return and the color of your casualty will improve as blood circulates. You can cease compressions, but you may need to continue breaths. If you're the only person present who knows what to do, your action must be immediate, now, in real time. Airway open. No breathing. Four breaths. No circulation. 15 compressions, followed by two more breaths. If no circulation after the first minute, continue with 15 compressions and two breaths for three more minutes. Continue the three minute sequences until breathing and circulation are restored or you hand over to a qualified person. Check the pulse again. No pulse. Can I help? Yes, please. Watch me, and then I'll show you what to do. But when there are two people, it is five compressions and one breath, and the compression rate is slower. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. Take that. 1,001, If you're in charge, go to the head and assume responsibility for the airway, for breaths, and for checking the pulse. 1001 Stop compressions when you check the pulse every three minutes. No pulse, carry on. 1,002, You will note that with two people, the single breath is given on the upbeat 
after the fifth compression. All the steps in resuscitation procedures are critical enough to bear repeating. With one person, if after the initial four breaths there is no pulse, give 15 compressions, followed by two more breaths, and keep up this 15 to 2 pattern for one minute when you will check the pulse again. If there is still no pulse, continue the 15 to 2 pattern, checking the pulse yet again after each three minutes, and repeat until there is an established pulse. With two people, resuscitation can be more efficient. If after the initial four breaths, there is no pulse, give five compressions at the reduced rate, followed by a single breath on the upbeat after each fifth compression. Stop compressions to check the pulse after one minute, and then again after every three minutes. Keep up this rhythm until resuscitation succeeds, or you hand over to professional help. So much for the mechanics. What you are doing is as basic as A, B, C. You're keeping an airway open, you are breathing for someone whose own breathing has failed, and you are circulating oxygen necessary for life. As you breathe, someone can 